Amid the ongoing war in Ukraine, Moscow has reportedly begun a new campaign to encourage Russians to enlist in the armed forces and fight in Ukraine. This despite the Kremlin having early denied needing more recruits. In an attempt to attract more volunteers to the front, Russian propaganda videos are being posted on social networks. The videos posted in the past few days are trying to appeal to Russian men. They do so through the narratives of patriotism, morality and upward social mobility. One of these videos reportedly posted last week features a young man. This man is shown as choosing to fight instead of partying with his male friends. Later in the video, the man surprises everyone by buying himself a car. He is shown doing this with the money he made from fighting on a military contract. In another such video, an ex-girlfriend of a soldier is being shown she is newly impressed with his courage and begs him to get back together with her. A further example shows a middle-aged man leaving the factory job. Some of these videos portray joining the forces as a prize. Like need your ex back, head to the front line, or your current job does pay enough, join the forces and get rich. Many of these videos portray the war as an escape. An escape for men from a bleak daily reality of poverty and helplessness. These videos surface even as reports and complaints of shortages of provisions and equipment in the Russian military continue to emerge. In line with the underlying, though reflected in the videos, Vladimir Putin said it was better to be killed fighting for the motherland than to drink oneself to death on vodka. The Russian president made these remarks during a meeting with mothers of the mobilized soldiers in November. In late September, Putin announced a partial military mobilization. Russia said it mobilized more than 300,000 people in this campaign. Thousands of men have reportedly fled Russia in order to avoid being conscripted and feared a second mobilization in the new year, which is mounting. The fears come even as the Russian president earlier this month reassured his citizens that there were no plans for additional mobilization. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.